Daar zijn ze. Een delegatie van 19 mensen uit het Italiaanse Olgiate Molgora bracht een bezoek aan Moegestel in het kader van de jumelage of vriendschap of uitwisseling, net hoe je het wil noemen, tussen het Italiaanse dorp en Moegestel. Burgemeester Jansen had ze opgehaald en begeleidt ze naar Moegestel. We gaan deze groep prachtige Moegestel laten zien. Dat gaan we doen. Een bezoek aan de molen was een van de programma-onderdelen. Maar wij namen Patricia Figini, de voorzitter van het Italiaanse comité, mee naar de Boogaard om te vragen hoe het haar in Moegestel bevalt. We came many times in Moegestel, me and my husband, to uh, have contact with you, with uh, uh, many people here. And we are very, very impressed because we found here not only a collaboration, but mm -hmm. already friends. Okay. Yeah, yeah so nice. I'm so impressed about that because I must admit that in Italy, we have, uh, yeah, you know, you have many prejudices, call them prejudices about foreign people. And we think uh, about uh, North people living in the North, mm -hmm. uh, we think about them, they are a little cold, uh, quite uh, not so a much. A little bit stubborn, perhaps? Yeah, maybe. And we found here, uh, as I said, friends. And you are, you are not so different from us. Oh, that's... <laughs> yeah, because uh, you always smile, you are, you are always smiling, and uh, you embrace, so you are quite similar to a Latin uh, person. Okay. And uh, I have uh, some, already some friends here in the south, but uh, we had some friends uh, in, uh, in the north. Uh, we met them in London. You, you mean the north and the south? Uh, Groning, south, north, Groninga, south uh, no, in uh, in Netherlands. Mm -hmm. We have some friends in uh, in the area of Groningen. Yeah. And I think they are totally different for you. Okay. It's the same in Italy. There are some differences uh, uh, between north and south. Yes, but Italy is much larger, of course. Than, Maybe, uh, than yes. yes. Uh, where, where is Olgiata situated? Because uh, yes. uh, Mugestel is uh, very uh, close to the Autostrada. We have an airport nearby, yeah. Eindhoven. Is Olgiata also that's easy to, uh, to connect with? Yes, absolutely. Olgiata is uh, in a very strategic area. Uh, we are in the middle of uh, the one of most uh, producing area in uh, Italy and in Lombardy. We are not far from uh, nature places mm -hmm. as uh, Lecco. Uh, you, I'm sure you know the famous Como Lake, yeah, Lecco yeah, okay, Lake. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. the place is that. So we are not far from there. But in the same time, we are very near to the main places, the main cities from Milan, from Monza, from Bergamo. So we are in the center of the nature and also of the production of the... the and production, the you mean agriculture or industry? Industry, 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 industry. absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, in our area is based one of the um, story of the most famous book in Italian literature. Uh, in Italian, the name is uh, I Promessi Sposi by the author uh, Alessandro Manzoni, brought in the 19th century, but placed in the 16th century, if I'm not wrong. And he chose to write that, that novel, placed in our area. So also we are in your very village, proud. in Olgiate? Uh, no, not in Olgiate, but in the area of uh, Olgiate, okay. Lecco, and so on, uh, that kind of area. Uh, when I look at uh, Olgiate Molgora on the yeah. internet, I see a beautiful, beautiful village uh, 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 in, the, in the mountains. Yeah, we, are, we have hills, not yeah. yet mountains, but hills, and maybe that's why uh, Dutch people like it. We call them. it mountains, yeah. yeah. For you it's mountain. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we appreciate the differences, because maybe uh, you like to see hills, mountains, mm -hmm. because you don't have, of course. Yeah. And on the contrary, we like to see uh, this so different uh, landscape for us. Yes. Everything is flat and it's so strange for us, of course. I'm quite satisfied about your food too. Uh, it's important, it's important. Uh, yesterday I've, I ate uh, the 
Zal me de name. Is it Worcesterbroodje? Worcesterbrood, yeah. yeah. I really, I really appreciate it. I like it very much. But in general, Italian food is much more. Uh, yeah, much there more is diverse. a very, very strong tradition. Yeah. Uh, every every housewife has his own, own way to do things in the, in the kitchen. So. Uh, it is a bit simple, I think, for you, the Dutch kitchen. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> yes, maybe. But how was your lunch? Great. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. So the training committee is, yes. is mostly about sports, music, and culture. Uh, what, are you, what are you specialized in? We can in? add schools here also. Schools also. Okay. Yeah. Yesterday, Hans from the gallery he suggested also um, to ask to our elementary uh, school uh, mm -hmm. children to draw something about our own village and the same here and we can exchange draws of children okay it, it is very nice but do that the, the, the dutch children draw something about the italian ones no, or draw the something about their own, the own village okay. uh, their yeah. own town yeah. so they can show each other the best places of places of the the cities and considering culture, we already did here an exhibition of our painters, yes. as you surely know. And uh, I think it was a success, I hope so. Yeah. And uh, Hans will come in Italy next year, maybe in April, May, uh, to do the same there, to expose the beautiful paintings there. In, oh, so in then Old you Jater. will have a painting from Urgestel in, uh, in Old Jater, gallery Mugara. in Old Jater. Yeah, oh, okay. yeah. You also have, have a gallery like this? No, uh, this is a very nice gallery, but we have historical places, historical villas. Yeah, I saw it on the movie last so, night. So, yeah. yeah, so maybe we can arrange something there, okay. or we, we can find the, the right location. Yeah. You, you spoke with uh, Princess Juliana, or yeah, that's uh, right. Harmony Orchestra. And uh, uh, the and other can name... Can you already say something about what's, what's going to happen in the future? Oh, it will be a surprise. No, uh, <laughs> in May they will come. Uh, very, very, so much people. Yeah, <laughs> it's very, a lot of people. So yeah, I'm so happy. The focus when I started this twinning project mm -hmm. is to, uh, to arrange things for everybody, of course, yes, of course. but uh, most of all for young people. Because in this, well, not so hard, but quite hard the times we live in. Mm -hmm. When, uh, where there are forces trying to separate us, I think it's important for young people to know people from other countries, yes. not to avoid prejudice. It's, it's terrible. But, but what do you mean by to try to separate us? You, you explained about the prejudice that you might have prejudice. in Italy about the Dutch, but... No, no, not just the Dutch. Uh, in general, uh, I'm sure you have to know personally person from other countries. Yes. Not to say, oh, Dutch people are cold, the French people are so... Other. You you yeah. must know people. And tomorrow we will have, I'm so proud about that, we will have a joint mass mm -hmm. with our priest and your priest, yeah. join the mass together. And in what the language celebration. Will that be? I think the, the mass will be in Dutch, but they asked us to read the first reading and the gospel in Italian. In Italian? Okay. Yes, okay. Uh, we are very happy about that because I'm sure a religious aspect should be underlined. Na een druk programma kwam men s'avonds samen in het paviljoen van MTV Stokkeind. Het was een gezellig samen zijn met vertegenwoordigers van stichtingen en verenigingen in Moergestel. Maar dat was ook een officieel tintje. We luisteren naar een stukje van de speech van de Italiaanse burgemeester. La fortuna e l'impegno di alcuni membri del nostro comitato gemellaggio ci ha dato l'occasione di incontrarvi e ci ha dato modo di conoscere il vostro paese, in particolare la meravigliosa località di Mungestà. Grati per l'ospitalità, vi siamo sicuramente grati per l'ospitalità che ci avete riservato durante le nostra, la nostra visita istituzionale. Speriamo di essere riusciti a trasmettervi la gioia e il calore della nostra comunità durante la vostra visita in Italia. Ci auguriamo che questo primo passo per la con la firma del patto di collaborazione diventi un lungo cammino insieme di amicizia e di condivisione. La volontà di gemellarsi e di avere cura di un legame di amicizia è un primo luogo il desiderio di conoscere meglio le persone. A questo si unisce l'interesse di scoprire altri modi di vivere e di pensare e il desiderio di evolvere come società aperta e curiosa. Grazie di cuore per la vostra ospitalità. Thank you very much for your hospitality.
En signor Bonoccio had gelijk. Het samenwerkingspact werd ondertekend, natuurlijk door de beide burgemeesters, maar ook door vertegenwoordigers van diverse clubs in Moergestel. Natuurlijk krijgt dit een vervolg.